Hey guys, welcome to uh, this uh, video today. Today we're going to talk about survival <clears throat> prep after the it's the fan. Let's get to it. By David Kingston. We'll check out an article by David Kingston. So you've probably been hearing a lot about urban survival and the various aspects related to it. It um, may even influence you to enroll in the class or go to a boot camp and get yourself some form of intensive training, which I'm in full agreement with. People who uh, prepare themselves for the urban survival lifestyles and survivalists believe this is a stage when a civilization is undergoing a complete breakdown. And there's a lot of unrest, possibly from threats of civil unrest, a terrorist attack, war, or an epidemic. So you were confronted with a SHTF situation and you still managed to pull through now that the situation is going back to normal and you may have to move back into your own home or if you haven't even, uh, if, uh, if you haven't had to leave your home during the situation, it's sort of the aftermath, the, <clears throat> the 72 hour afterwards when things are going to have to find a new reality. But how do you deal with this aftermath? And let's uh, let's talk about some of the ways. Fact is that it is still all in your hands to see that nothing happens to you and your family, at least nothing that you're not prepared for. So uh, obviously things can happen no matter what you're thinking, but uh, if you're prepared, you've done your part. <laughs> Here are a few things that you can do to ensure that your life gets back to normal after the shut off. Shut off. Before the shut off, which is uh, an acronym for SHDF, uh, stock up on not only necessities, but also just in case items, if you have a safe place to do so. And we've talked about that many times and uh, all of us on our, all our YouTube channels and websites talk about the necessities and there's some great places to purchase that and I'll, I'll put some links in the in the description that you guys can go check out for if you're looking for basics to get supplied with to get started with prepare yourself for a struggle and please don't think it will be easy as living in the woods and hunting ants animals and having them for dinner more than likely um, <clears throat> depending on the type of shut off situation uh, if, let's say it's uh, where you can stay bugged in you're still gonna have to come out eventually because if the powers are down your food storage will, will change um, water will be water will be crucial and uh, so um, it's not just about hunting and uh, hunting and having them for dinner for sure in a worst case scenario, the aftermath will be such that once the bullets and the stored food are gone, you'll be going back to the basics just like our ancestors did centuries before, at least a version, uh, at least a version of it, because there'll still be modern buildings and um, other, other methods of generating electricity, and, but it will be uh, back to basics. You have to be self-sufficient. Learn how to grow your own food, how to make compost. This will help you become self-sufficient and not depend on others for the basic needs of you and your family. And uh, <clears throat> again, I, I'll uh, put some links in the description that will take you to some websites where they have, you know, basic how to grow your own food and other things like that. And we're gonna cover a video on, on this uh, very soon so it's possible that 50 percent of uh, the people will be dead after the shut off and uh that's a possibility i mean it could be that uh, not very many people are dead but uh, uh resources quickly can create that resources shortage electrical grid going down hurricanes tornadoes we're talking a lot of things other than just uh, a zombie apocalypse so you need to ensure that you don't catch any infectious diseases. Now that's hard to <clears throat> say that you could ensure that, but boy, you can, you, a bug will kill you quicker than a, than a, <laughs> a tornado. 
that's for sure. You get a stomach infection, you get a bit by mosquitoes, you get some sort of sand fly thing going on, but uh, just, you know, make sure you're following as good of uh, hygiene as possible. You can prevent this from happening to you and your family by maintaining your personal hygiene and avoiding contact with infected persons. Be self-sufficient by learning how to survive after the shutoff. There's no substitute for training in urban survival and I, I recommend taking at least a couple of courses on it. Uh, maybe a course on mountaineering wouldn't be bad, course on growing food, purifying water. Any training you can get will go a long way to at least making you sleep better at night and hopefully you'll never have to use it but but your money will be well spent in the long run so take the courses <clears throat> buy the food preparation you don't have to go broke to do this just uh, start where you are a little bit at a time and uh, keep it up Having an urban survival guide around when disaster strikes will make you and your family feel more prepared, especially if you've reviewed it, gone over it, um, you feel comfortable with, uh, you know, communications in case you're separated, uh, rendezvous points, contacts, you know, uh, relatives, friends, uh, uh, things like that. Just go over it with your family. Review it, make sure everybody's on the same page. So yeah, that's some pretty solid basic info. You know, uh, we'll go into more depth as we uh, delve on that, but uh, it always comes down to be prepared, stay prepared. I'm Mike, till next time, get prepping, stay prepping, and we'll catch you on the next video. Make sure you to uh, like and share, and if you wanna leave a comment, and. If you have any um, any subjects that you'd like us to cover here, we're just trying to gather as much info from as many experts as possible and pass it on to you guys and make this a community where we uh, support one another and share our best information, knowing that one size doesn't fit all, but we can certainly help as many as possible. All right, till next time, subscribe, share, like. I also have a Facebook page and the Bug Out Prepper podcast. Uh, again, I'll put uh, links in the description.